In the video we will be going through the basics of mixing and applying body filler. When working with body filler you will need nitrile gloves and safety goggles to protect your skin and eyes. A boiler suit is recommended to protect your clothing. A mask with a particle filter is required when sanding. Body filler generally comes in a tin with a hardener in a tube. You will need something to pry open the tin with. And something to stir and scoop the filler onto your mixing sheet or clean piece of cardboard. You will need some flexible applicators to mix the filler and hardener and spread the body filler onto your mould. Lastly, you will need some sandpaper to rough up the surface of your mould. Some solvent and paper towel is required to clean the surface. To rough up the surface, we will be using some 180 grit sandpaper to lightly sand the area where you will be applying the body filler. Remember to vary the directions of your strokes or sand in circular motions to not generate any low spots in your mould. After sanding, wipe down the surface with paper towel to remove any dust. You will then clean the surface with thinners to remove any dust and contaminants. Now the surface is ready for body filler. Using a flathead screwdriver or prying tool, open the tin of body filler. Over time, the resins in the filler can separate, so it is important to first mix the body filler thoroughly. Now you can scoop out your body filler onto a scrap piece of cardboard, or in this case, a disposable mixing sheet. Before adding the hardener, knead the tube to ensure it is thoroughly mixed. This hardener has a 1 to 50 hardener to filler volume ratio. A general rule of thumb is to use a matchstick of hardener to a matchbox of filler. A set of scales can also be used to accurately measure out the hardener, assuming the densities are similar. Using a flexible scraper, mix the hardener and fill it together. It is better to mix the body filler by folding it over rather than stirring to avoid air bubbles. Make sure to mix in the filler that is stuck to the scraper. More hardener can be added if you feel that the ratio is too low. Adding more hardener than the 1 to 50 ratio will make this filler set faster which can be useful when working in cold conditions. Mix the hardener until it is homogeneous in colour. Scoop up an amount of body filler with your applicator and liberally apply onto the mould surface. Body filler will begin to set and will be unworkable after around 5 minutes, so you should begin application as soon as possible. First focus on covering the entire surface with a rough coat of body filler. The excess filler can then be shaped and smoothed out. Best results are achieved using long even strokes. Applying a constant pressure to the applicator will help reduce air bubbles. Try to avoid leaving any low spots. Excess body filler can quickly be sanded down while low spots would require additional applications. Towards the end of the working time, the body filler will rapidly begin to harden and become chalky. At this point, it is important to stop working and let the body filler set. For easy cleaning, body filler can be left on the applicator and then broken off once it is fully set. 